Thanks, Dearness. Appreciate the time. Are you ready for 35 carries on Sunday? Uh, man, I'm just ready to go out there and just try to go one and next uh, this week. <laughs> That's our main focus, just going one and over. And you know, when I get the opportunity, just try to make the most of them. I hear you. Um, so obviously, your performances when you've been called upon has given the team a ton of confidence. What has it done for you personally to be able to go out there when you when you've been needed and done what you've done? I mean, it just means a lot, man. That the team that, that the team trusted me. That they you know they they have a lot of faith in me just to go out there and make plays. You know that that speaks for a lot, that speaks a lot. Thanks, man. Thank you, Tom. Marla Reitner has her next question. Yeah, D. Ernest, just, I mean, is it, how bizarre is this to kind of be like the last man standing? Are you like trying to stay away from everybody? Man, it's an uh, un, un, unfortunate, you know, situation that, that all this occurred, occur, but, you know, I just try to stay safe, just keep my mask on and just, just try to do all the little things right. The, what do you think is the biggest takeaway from what, you know, you've done this once before and, you know, you were able to carry the load? What, what is your biggest lesson from that that you'll use this time? Just going out there and just being me, just going out there and having fun and just, that's it. Just going out there having fun and being me and just being the best teammate that I can be. You know, those are the biggest lessons. Thank you. Thank you, Marlo. We'll go to Mary Kay Cabot. Uh, yeah, Dearness, just wondering, have you been in contact with Nick and Demetric and even John? And, you know, how's everybody feeling and, is, you know, how's everybody handling what's happening to, to the running back room this week? Uh, like I said, man, it's an, an unfortunate situation. I mean, those guys, you know, they're feeling good. Um, just hoping to get those guys back before uh, Sunday. And after your 146-yard game, you, you really didn't have an opportunity after that very much. I mean, did you think that that was going to be the start of something big? And that, you know, with Kareem out, that you'd get a chance to to keep carrying the ball. And it really hasn't happened to this point yet. Uh, I'm just right now just, just playing my role, whatever they got me doing. You know, I just try to go out there and do it to the best of my ability. You know, uh, if it's coming in on short downs or third downs, whatever, you know, I just got to go out there and, and make a play for the team. You know, that's, you know, that's my biggest key. Thank you. Okay, Scott Patrick, go ahead. Hey, Dearness, with all the uncertainty that you mentioned at the running back spot, how are you approaching this week? Uh, the same way I approach every week, just uh, take care of my body, studying a lot as I'm going in to start, like I do it every week, and just just going out there and having fun. And kind of like Tom referred to, if you have to be the only guy and the only guy that's been here longer than, you know, a week, are you prepared to be on the field for whatever, almost every snap? Yes, I'm prepared. I mean, I know those guys behind me will, will be ready and, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. And, you know, I'm just you know, thankful for the opportunity, you know, and just got to make the most of it. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. Nate Orr, who are you? Hey, Dearness, I mean, it's kind of obvious that, you know, you, you came through for this team in a situation with Nick and Kareem out on, on Thursday Night Football and, just how much confidence does that experience give you, you know, in case you are the number one guy heading into this one? I mean, it, it gives me a lot of confidence that I, I did go out there and perform at a high level. But, you know, I just got to go out there and, and try to make the most of the opportunities again. You know, every opportunity I get, I got to capitalize on each one. And uh, that's what I got to do. So, you know, obviously this was a big week for the O-line with, with Wyatt Teller and uh, – Drill Batonio getting extensions. Just wondering, how do you view the franchise's commitment to the running game, the O-line? How how did you view those guys getting extended? Man, it means a lot, man. Uh, those guys, you know, they they work the tail off. They've been having a great career here, and, you know, they deserve it all, you know. Those guys are, are key players for us as a whole offense, and uh, I'm happy for those guys. And it means a lot that the organization, you know, um, just, you know, gave them what they deserve. Thank you, Nate. Jeff Shadell, you have our next question. Hey, Dean, you kind of caught the uh, Broncos by the surprise. Do you consider yourself a mark man for this game after what happened like with Denver? Um, I mean, 
I'm not sure. I mean, uh, you know, New England's a good defense. No, no matter who's in that running back, you know, they're, they're a great defense and they're just going to, you know, bring it. I mean, I don't consider myself as a marked man because they, you know, I just got to go out there and just be me and just play. Thanks, Jeff. Daryl Ryder, go ahead. Hey, Ernest, you've been asked a lot about keeping yourself ready uh, to be called upon. I, I, I'm interested in what have you done to stay ready? Because you, I'm guessing you don't get the the normal touches in practice uh, that a, a typical starter would get. So, so what is it that you have been doing behind the scenes to keep yourself ready so you have that ability to step in the way you have? Uh, I just do a lot of studying, a lot of film studying, like, Coach Stump always pray, uh, preached to us, like, when my, when I first got here, like, you know, prepare as you coming in as a starter. And that's what I've been doing from day one, just preparing as I was going to go in the game and start. You know, uh, I take a lot of mental reps. You know, when I don't get a chance to get any reps, I, I do a lot of mental reps, and I just try to take care of my body and just try to study a lot of film and, and study uh, Nick and Kareem and how they uh, approach games and stuff. Bill Belichick has a history of – attacking opposing offenses and taking what they do best away from them. Obviously the run game is central to what you guys want to do. Um, just how do you approach that? And what do you see from that new England defense when you look at them on field or, or I should say on film as you're, you know, preparing to run against them. Uh, new England, man, they're a great team. They're a great. They got a great defense. Uh, they're very physical. You know, they're gonna, you know, we got to out physical them. Um, and we just got to go out there and, and take it one play at a time. And, and, and just, you know, make everything count. You know, just go one note each week, and that's our main focus. Thanks, Daryl. Dan Lobby, we'll go to you. Hey, Dearness. Going back to, I guess it was Tuesday when, when those guys went on the list, can you kind of walk us through that day for you? When when did you find out kind of what was going on? Um, it was it was early morning. They called us and let us know that we were close contact to someone, and we all came in and had to take a test, and – Unfortunately, uh, Nick and uh, um, Demetri felt it, tested positive. I don't, I don't know how I did it, but uh, you know, I'm just blessed and thankful that I'm I'm negative. Is it, is it a little nerve wracking? It is. Day when kind of waiting it, for that test. Yeah, it is nerve wracking because every <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I got a test from the trainer because I know I test. I'm like, man, I pray I don't, you know, test positive and I I, I tested negative. So I was thankful for that. So, like you said, it's, it's nerve-wracking, because you never know. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Next up is Ashley Bastick. Hey, Dernis. Um, You know, Joel and Wyatt have been in the news a lot these last couple of days with their extensions, and Wyatt obviously having that block that went kind of viral against the Bengals. I just, from, from your perspective, when you're talking about staying ready and, and all that stuff, how much do – those two and all the guys up front kind of make it easier for you when you have to jump into that role like you've had to in the past. Man, they they make it a lot easier. They, you know, they make our job a lot easier. Um, just going out there and, and dominating the run game, you know, dominating the defensive line. And all we got to do is trust our eyes and, and trust what we see. And, you know, they're going to make a hole for us. And, you know, I'm blessed to run behind the offensive line like them. And listening to you talk, I mean, you talk so much about being adaptable and, and staying ready. And um, I'm just wondering, like, throughout your football career, not just here, is that adaptability something you've had to work at? Or do you think you've kind of always had that as a player? Uh, I think I, just being able to adapt with anything, just just growing up in high school and just college, just being able to adapt, to, uh, you know, being the number two guy instead of number one, just being able to Adapt that way, then you know, just in life, also just you know, having to get a job and being able to adapt in that lifestyle to having to come back to football and just being able to adapt. So, I mean, I think it's something that I always had and I always had to work at. And I mean, and, and it helped a lot. Thanks. Thank you, Ash. We'll take one more, Mary Kay Cabot. Uh, yeah, Dearness, just wondering with um, with JOK back on the field. Uh, you've practiced against him, obviously, a lot, dating all the way back to training camp. Uh, what's he like as a linebacker? What's he like to try to, you know, to get past? And uh, what what is he going to bring to the table uh, if he gets to play on Sunday? Uh, you know, he's a great guy. He's uh, very physical and fast, and he run, he run to the ball, you know. He go out there and make plays, you know. It's, we're glad to have a guy like him back and just to help the team and help the defense. So, you know, glad to have him back. <laughs> 